Hello and welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. My name is Lucy Aida. I'm a Wilson Bickford trained instructor and also in the past I was a um, one-stroke director. So now I'm mostly doing oil painting and I'm happy to share a nice um, ocean scene with you today. Okay, so I've started to prep my canvas a little bit and this is an 11 by 14 canvas and I put a little smiley face up here um, where I might want to put um, a sunspot or a moon. So I just wanted to show you how these stickers come. You can just get an inexpensive roll of stickers and um, put one where you want a moon or a sun and it just makes it easier when you paint it later on. So what I have done um, is I have put a white fast flow on my canvas which is a, um, a titanium dioxide and it is an uh, oil based uh, paint but it's thinner. And uh, this is a fast flow white from Wilson Bifford. I am using his products today, uh, his paint brushes and all, and um, paints. And the paint we're using is a titanium white, cadmium yellow, emerald green, and um, ultramarine blue, okay? I have a little bit of acrylic, which started to dry a little. And what I'd like to do, um, oceans are very difficult to do. Um, you would think they are easy, but when you go to do them, for some reason, you're always looking at an angle that sometimes doesn't look right. So I've made a little um, method to do uh, a simple ocean and um, hope that you can give it a try. I suggest that you um, watch the video first, then take out your supplies and maybe follow along with me. If you have any questions, you can call me. My information will be on later. Um, you can call me or write, okay? So what I've done is I've taken a little swab, uh, which is just a makeup swab. Okay. And I'm going to put in just a little area here, which we wiped out the um, oil-based paint. And what this is, is just going to be the eye of the wave. And just rub it in. I just took a little tiny bit of that yellow, just so you have a little direction. It just makes it a little bit easier. And these are disposable, so after you just rub it in there, you can throw it away. It's um, easier than using your regular paint brushes because when you use um, an acrylic paint, you have to put them in water real fast and then you have to clean it out. So those, they are very, very inexpensive. You can get like 100 in a package. So um, I just wanted to show you where the eye of the wave would be. So I have put the white flow, uh, fast flow, so you can see where that is. I may or may not have time to do a sky today. My most important um, aspect of this painting is showing you that wave, okay? so. Uh, I'm going to just put some blue in first, just to get the sky uh, perspective in. And this is the ultramarine. I'm using a um, scenery brush. This is the small scenery brush, uh, one inch, or number one scenery brush. And I'm just loading it right in, tapping the paint in. I don't want to use too much paint. I could always add more. And I'm just going to rub in some blue. Like I said, just for the perspective so far of it. And then if I have time later, I'll come in and show you clouds again. I do have other videos that have um, clouds on. And if I can go back and put a couple in, we'll see in a little while. Okay, so just kind of getting some blue in there. Painting right over that little face there. The sticker was falling off before, so I had to put a little bit of the blue tape on. The blue tape is just uh, where the horizon line will be. You don't have to necessarily uh, put in the uh, blue for horizon, the blue tape. It just makes it easier. And especially with the time constraints, I'm doing a few things that'll make it a little easier today. Okay, so got a simple sky there. I can come blend that out later. Usually I would spend a little more time on it. But just for today, I like the idea of putting a little bit dark up top. Again, to add to the depth of the painting when you have a little dark framing it. There we go. So just some blue to start, very simple blue. Now, I'm going to move to a flat brush. All right, and this is a number 10, large flat brush. And what I'd like to do is, I'm just gonna take some of that blue, a little bit of white, and I'm going to just sketch in where my wave will go. Now, if I didn't put the fast flow on, you can actually just sketch in with a little bit, um, well, not sorry, with a pencil, okay? So, just saying that this is the eye of my wave. So we'll just have it come a little bit here, go over the top, and a little down. See, so you don't really need any drawing experience for this. You're just going to imagine the wave is coming up and going over, and this will be the top of the wave, and we'll have some 
some distinction in there. Okay, just the idea to show you which wave that way will, the wave will go, all right? So what I'm going to do first is, since I didn't put a lot of that dark on, I'm going to start with my lighter colors. Um, taking some of the emerald green with a little bit of white. If I see my paint is too thick, I'll use a little bit of medium, okay? So right underneath this wave is going to be the lightest green. So I'm just gonna come in and very simply make a strip. All right, to the side of the wave, I'll come in and put a little more green. Notice how I'm going the, the direction that the water probably would be falling. All right, so I'm gonna lay in my paint first and then I'm going to blend them. And I'll show you a little trick I have for blending them. Now, these colors don't have to be exact in this painting. Um, all over the world, the, the oceans are different colors, okay? So mine, uh, my purpose for today is just to show you how to get the, um, the shape of the wave, okay? And then you can always change your colors as you wish. So next, I'm going to make that green a little darker by adding some blue to it. So I'm just gonna take some blue, move it over into the green. There we go. And I'm going to paint a little bit of this underneath. And I'll bring it all the way out. See, so just blending back and forth gently. I'm going to use that same dark in here. Make this a little darker, and we're gonna blend all these together. Right now it might look a little funny, but that's just for now. Now, underneath the wave is going to be the darkest. As the wave goes up, the water gets thinner. So as it comes to the eye, it's the lightest section. All right. There we go, and that's where the, um, the light would go through the eye. So underneath here, see I just made it a shade darker. I'm not even washing out my brush. Just making it darker and darker as I go down. Not going into this color at all. Now I'm using the straight ultramarine. Now if I feel it's getting a little thick, I have a little cup of medium on the side. And what I did was, um, I'll show you the bottle. I just put a little medium in here. And I'm just going to dip my brush in and bring it back. And you can probably see how that got a little shiny now. It loosened up the paint a little, OK? So I have a, a pro medium called Lucy's Pro Medium. And it is made out of um, safflower oil, walnut oil, and um, sun bleached linseed oil. And it loosens up the paint without drying and also doesn't yellow the paint if you're using it and you need it with just plain white. Sometimes you use the, um, the mediums and they're yellow, so it makes your white yellow. All right, so you can see how I'm putting in these strips of color, and that's going a little smoother there. I'm coming back again. You can see back to the dark again, and I just have every once in a while, I'm just looking at a little picture down there because I want to make sure that I get in that uh, lining for you the way I, I uh, envisioned it. Sometimes I'll go and paint and it'll come out different every time. All right, so, so you can see I have the lining in, okay, under here. Um, put some dark in here too. And now I'm going to peel off the tape. And like I said, this is just regular um, painter's tape. I'll have to put down my palette there and come in the back and hopefully not have a problem peeling the tape off like I did a couple of other shows. And one second, I'll have this tape up. Here we go. Now, underneath this tape, there is no medium, and that's okay because I could always put it on now or add a little to my brush, okay? So it's not necessary uh, to worry about underneath the tape because it's just a little portion of the painting anyway. All right, so this will be all water here. Now, in the background, I don't want it as dark as the foreground. So I'm going back to that green. Usually, if I had time, I would take my time and I would make my horizon very straight by first going across with the length of the brush. And this way you don't make your horizon line uh, crooked as you're painting, okay? So normally, that's what I would do. I don't know if I have enough time. So I'm gonna go back in my green and white a little blue. Now I'm just mixing up whatever colors I feel would be in the ocean, which is all shades of green and blue. Like I said, depends on where you are. I uh, have been fortunate enough to go to the Caribbean, which I know I mentioned before, and 
way different than the colors here in New Jersey where we're taping. And um, so I like to add all the colors. Now you can see I just made that horizon line a little crooked there. And that's my fault for not taking my time and going this way. So sometimes uh, you have to make a mistake to learn by it. All right. And that's the best way when you're painting is uh, you make a mistake, you'll know next time what to do and what not to do. And uh, little by little, you'll get better and better. And if you want to be faster and faster, it depends on uh, what purpose you're painting for. So since I'm an instructor, I'm used to uh, talking fast and teaching fast. So you'll, uh, you'll probably say, oh my gosh, she's going so fast. And what you'll have to do is, uh, you know, stop, stop the show, watch a little bit more, paint a little, and then follow me along. And like I said, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help you. All right, so now you can see I'm just kind of blocking in the colors here. I can adjust them later on and blend them together. Just really wanted to block in these colors. And I don't want to put colors next to each other that are the same. So up here, uh, in other words, I wouldn't take this green and put it here. So I'm trying to define the colors in between. And right now it kind of looks funny, I know. Um, once we start blending, then you're gonna, you'll really see the difference there. Okay, so I pulled a little of that green over and that's okay. So this would just be how we start. All right, so now we have the paint all laid on, all right? And not sure if it actually starts to look like a little wave yet, but it will in a couple minutes. I am going to, um, I think I'm gonna use the same brush, okay? So I put that yellow acrylic underneath, which is dry. So I'm going to take a little brush. I did dip it in a little, a little medium. I'm taking some yellow and a little bit of green, and I'm, that might be a little bit too dark. So I'm lightening it. As you can see, I'm lightening it by pulling the color over. If I keep putting yellow paint in here, I'm just gonna keep making a big pile of paint and it'll never get lighter. So I'm pulling it over, and that might be okay here. So I wanna paint in that eye the wave, and it's right over the acrylic. So I'm just putting a little bit on because I'm actually going to blend that green up into it. And the acrylic, I can't blend um, into it. So I put a little bit of the oil on there, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how I blend these colors together. So like I said, first what you would do is you will um, lay down your paint colors, all right? Just wiping my brush off. Then you'll start between the lighter colors. Let me get more of this blue off. And I'm going to do a little crisscross in here, okay? I'm coming down to the next color. Now, a lot of uh, well-known artists do this on their paintings when they're blending. I haven't seen anybody do it with oceans, so I thought I would give it a try, and I, I did it a couple times, and it seemed to work well. And I think for beginners, it's a good way to start. So I'm going between the colors first, and you can see I'm just on the chisel edge of the brush, and I'm pulling the color into each other, all right? Now, you can use the same process for any size canvas. I'm just doing a small one so I'd have time to hopefully finish the painting. And again, between the bottom colors, I see some white of that canvas showing. That's all right. I'm gonna, we're going to blend right through it. All right. There we go. Some of those little stripes in between. That's going to help the paint come together. All right. Same thing. I probably should have done this because it was a little, it's a, a little lighter, but that's okay. There we go, just pulling the color together, pulling it together. You can see the little markings. So I'll stop there for a second. You can see what I've done here with all these markings, all right? Now, I'm drying the brush off again. I'm gonna blend with this brush also. So when we're blending, we have no paint on the brush. When we're painting, we have paint on the brush. So right now, I'm blending. I'm coming between these with a very, very light touch barely touching the canvas. Before, I was really pushing to get the paint off. Now, barely, barely touching. And you can see how the colors are coming together. Because I did these lines, it pushed the paint together um, a little differently than just trying to blend back and forth and blending out all your paint. I think it helps a little, and I think for beginners it's good. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to lift some of this paint into the eye. You can see very, very lightly, I'm just dragging it. I'm going right over the acrylic. 
There we go. And then we have the eye. Now, if there's too much green in there, I can go back. I can put a little yellow. Because to me already, I feel like I overblended. So it's okay. I can put a little bit more yellow for now. I'll go back and keep blending. There we go. I'll come over here, blend, because now I'm going to go between the dark colors. And you can see I'm doing a couple strokes and then I'm wiping the brush off because otherwise we'll be painting if we keep picking up all that color. Okay, coming in between again. And I know every couple strokes maybe my hand is blocking, but you'll get the idea as I, as I go along. Okay, so it's starting to blend nicely. I'll use a mop brush besides it. Down here, I'm just kind of following it along just to smooth it out a little bit. And then I'll uh, stand back and give it a little check so we have some, you know, variation in color. I can see a little further out. And I got paint in my hair already. I just started and got paint in my hair. That's like me. Okay, I want to do the same thing up here. I just want to go back and forth and blend this out a little better. There we go. We can neaten it up later. Just the idea of getting these uh, colors blended. Now I feel like I need a little more blue up there. Oh, my palette's over here. Just to um, have a little more color harmony. I think I need a little more blue in here. So that was just me making a, a little adjustment, as we call it. It's an adjustment. I felt like I needed more blue to balance out the painting. Okay, so that's something you'll learn in time. And when you look at your painting and you'll say, oh, something doesn't look right, go ahead and try to change it. Because even if it ends up worse, that's how you're going to learn. Next time you'll, you'll say, oh, I did it last time. I'm not going to do that again. All right, so I'm wiping my brush off again. So there we have a little bit of the blend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mop brush. This is a nice soft brush. Starting from the lighter colors, I'm just going to mop this a little. And this is going to even soften it more. Okay, so now it's going to take some of that shine off, so you'll probably be able to see it a little better, and I'm just kind of blending and softening together. If I feel like I need to blend more, then I can. I'm just going to wipe it off again, just rubbing it, I'm sorry, I covered that up, rubbing it on my paper towel, and I'll pull these colors a little bit together. There we go. I can go back, blend the top a little. Okay, so now we're starting to have the wave really look like a wave, okay? So it didn't take that long, um, and I'm going real fast. Like I said, at home, you'll take your time. All right, so what I'd like to do now is I'm going to put in a little bit of a shadow. I'm just going to wipe off my round brush because I had that green on there, and uh, looks like I forgot to put a little bit of black on there. So I'm going to just put a dab of black on my palette. There we go. So we need a little bit of gray. So some white and there's some black. And I'm making a little gray. All right, I probably could have used that all. I'm gonna dip in a little bit of blue too. Make a nice little shadow color, see? Now I'll check that on my painting. May not be quite dark enough. Take a little bit of blue again, some of that black. It's mixing back and forth. It's a little bit more blue than gray, and that probably is okay, and we'll see. What I'd like to do is put in a little bit of shadow in here. Now you can see I'm just using the tip. I'm just kind of rolling my brush. I'm turning it over. Now you'll start to see that formation of the wave. I'll go across the top a little. I can even take some of this color, come across the back, and we can make some other some other waves in the back. Of course, I would paint those out a little, okay? So I'd like to do the wave, whoop, and then um, see if I have time to show you a little bit of uh, formations, all right? So that's the wave so far. What we have to do now is we're gonna have to put in some of the, the foam and the mist. So I'm just wiping this brush out again, okay? Coming to my white, gonna put a tiny, tiny bit of yellow in there. You can barely see it. It just kind of tones it down a little bit. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to come in and over that gray, I'm turning the brush. We don't want it to be all even, and I'm putting in some white. See what I'm doing? I'm just turning. This will be the top, turning. Under here, 
I'm going to scrub in some foam. Scrub in the foam. We can do a foam burst too, which is fun. I'm going back to the white, just mixing it in my pile. If we had a foam burst, the water is coming out. And here, I'm just going to scrub in a foam burst. I'm going to break the horizon line. This way it looks right up there. Now, you can see that the foam burst picked up a lot of dark, and that's good. That's what we want. Okay, We like that to pick up some dark, because then we go back in and put some whites in. All righty. So we need a little bit of a foam burst on top of that wave, too. So what I'll do is put a little more in here, and then I'm just going to flick this up a little bit. So I'm just pushing and flicking it up. Now, like I said, I'm doing this pretty fast. At home, you're not going to do it this fast. I'm blending a little as I'm flicking. Okay, so we have that little bit of a little bit of an extra foam on top there. I'm going to try to add a little bit more white. See what I'm doing? I'm just pressing it on and lifting it up. So I'm just pressing and lifting. Down here now, I could come in with a little more white, not quite that much, and I can go on top of this and try to deposit a little more white in there. Otherwise, what we'd have to do if it can't get the white in is we wait for it to dry a couple days. Okay, so now you can see I got some white in there. I'm just scrubbing that white in, and that side will now look like a shadow. All right, so I'm kind of laying the paint on really thick, which I may not have wanted to do at this time, but it's okay for just the sake of the class. Uh, up here, same thing. I'll try to put a little bit more white up. Now, these would be the wave coming down, so I can just pull this down a little to show the motion of which way that wave is going, okay? I'll give it a soft blend, too, with the mop, put a little more white in. Back here, same thing. I'll just come in and roll a little bit of this in, and then I can just kind of, see what I'm doing? I'm kind of just pulling it down a little and blending it as I'm going along, and it'll just look like a little wave in the background. Okay, so these little waves you can put in all over. It's just the illusion of it, just the illusion of the wave, okay? What I would like to do is just show you a little bit of foam. Just while we have a few more minutes for this lesson, and I want to make sure I didn't forget anything, so I'm just taking a look down at my picture there. Now, when you're putting foam on, um, on your painting, when uh, the bottom of uh, the water, it's usually flat. As uh, your foam comes up over the wave, uh, it turns to an ellipse and then turns more to a circle. So down at the bottom, all you would do is rub in some lining, okay? So I'll just do a few. We'll rub in some lining. Then as it gets up into the wave, you can make ellipses. And you see I'm just rolling the brush around? And I'm going to soften it. So right now, it doesn't look like anything, but I'm going to do a couple and soften it. As you get higher up, I'm going to wipe off because I picked up quite a bit of blue. As you get higher up, you can make some more circles and just cut off those circles and add in some, some paint by squishing your brush down. That's really all I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to do just a little bit more, and I want to soften it. So you can see, see, now I picked up some of that blue. That's okay. I'm just going to blend it right back out again. Now, I'm going to take a, uh, the, the brush I used before. I'm just wiping it. You can see I'm just holding my paper towel the whole time. All right, and going to just gently sweep across and up and down. Now, these foam patterns will now look like they're part of the ocean. Now, you can spend hours and hours doing foam patterns. And here we go. I'm just going to blend this a little so it looks like it's anchored in the water a bit. can just blend, blend this a little bit more. All right. I can put more foam down here, uh, more of a, a burst at the bottom here. But just so you can see how I do the waves, okay? Now, you may see um, many other uh, artists, they'll do waves differently. This is just the way that um, I like to teach my students as beginners. Um, as many of you know, I, I only teach beginners, okay? So um, I am certified to teach and, and by far any kind of a master painter, so I know my limitations. So I teach beginners so they can get started, okay? Um, I think, though, you get the idea of it. The more foam that you put in, the better it looks. 
You can use a, um, a liner for the foam if you'd like, um, or you can just get a round brush like this, and you'll start putting your foam in. Like I said, it's flatter here, and then it, it will turn into ellipses. See, I'm just holding the brush over and just laying in some foam patterns. Here, some, I pushed a little harder just to get a little bit more so it looks a little thicker on the side. Okay, I will go back and blend again. So every time you put some foam patterns in, come back and blend it out. Now, I'm not going to uh, put more at this time, but you would fill in this bottom with foam patterns. See here, it looks pretty good. You would fill in more of this along the bottom. Now, what I'd like to do is just take off this little smiley face guy, and if I was going to have a sun or a moon, it's already set there, so it would be, it's easier. So I could just take a fan brush and just say it's uh, a sun. I'll put a little yellow with the white. And here we go. I can just come in and I'll probably get a little blue in there, but just for the sake of uh, showing you how easy it is um, to start out, you know, if you don't have the blue underneath. All right, so if I was gonna take my time, I would be really, really neat. Now, if you're gonna be putting in a sun, underneath that sun, you probably would wanna put in some um, sun movement in the water, okay? Not sun movement, I'm sorry, um, sun sparkle. So you can go back to your knife, or you could take your knife, sorry, and take some white paint. Maybe put a little yellow in there since I made that awful yellow, that sun, that's a really bright sun. It may not, have be, uh, it may not be the color I would choose normally, but for the sake of the show. So under here, you can even come in and I'm just laying my brush out and pulling some of these down. And that'll just show a little reflection, all right? So, and the little details really, really help a lot. Could even bring them down in here if you wanted. Can put a couple here and there just to break up the water. Like I said, there's so much you could do with a painting like this, but in the amount of time I have, I just wanted to show you the lesson on how easy it is to get the wave. The other thing is if you wanted to, um, uh, put some clouds in and all. Usually I do that first, but I'll just show you one cloud since I have a couple minutes. I'm taking my bounce brush and I'm just loading the top of the bounce brush with some white paint, okay? So if I wanted to come and put a cloud, I'm just gonna come in and bounce this cloud in, all right? And that would be the, the top of the cloud formation. And after I bounce in some clouds, I could put more, could even have it go right through the sun, I'm just taking the whole brush and rubbing it out. This is just a simple way to make clouds. It can be done with many brushes. Um, I made this brush, um, I didn't make the brush. I mean, I, I am using this brush for this method uh, just for beginners. This way uh, they can very easily get some clouds in. So I could probably just put uh, just a little bit more down here. So just bounce in a little more. You should really have an uneven number it just seems better for the comp uh, com competition now. Look, I'm saying competition. <laughs> the, uh, for the painting, it looks a little better. All right. And just put, I'm just putting a little bit in here just to show you how easy it is to get in some clouds, okay? So that's pretty much it. I hope that you understood the lesson. That's my main point of doing this. My main point is to teach a little lesson, not necessarily to um, do a fantastic painting. It's to teach the lesson. Um, when you practice on your own, you can follow my methods, um, mix them with everybody else's, and you'll come up with your own style. So um, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I could work on this uh, later again. And if you'd like to contact me, uh, please do. You can um, join my Facebook group at uh, Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting uh, slash Wilson Bickford, New Jersey or you can come to my website um, and see my videos and a few of my products there at lucysworldofpainting.com. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you uh, can check out my other videos.